Snow White and the Invisibility Power. Once upon a time, in a land far, far away, there was a very beautiful girl named Snow White. Snow White loved to walk in the forest with her horse Prego, pick flowers, and sing. And the seven dwarves living with her in the castle remained steadfastly by her side. In fact, they would do anything to make her laugh. Here I am, the jolly dwarf. Ha <laughs> ha! Woo woo woo! Oh oh! And up and down and up and and whoops and one handed! Ha <laughs> ha! Ta da! Ooh! Whoops! <laughs> Well done, Jolly. You are very talented. Boom, 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 hooray! Ace. Ah, what you see is a white handkerchief, princess. But this is actually a white dove. <laughs> Ta da! <laughs> You're great, Ace. Angry. Shy, silly, and lazy. Oh, 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 you guys are heavy. Oh, you're so heavy. Hey, I'm on top. <laughs> wow, unbelievable. <laughs> oh, 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 oops. Uh, I can't carry any more. You guys are so heavy. Oh, my back. Oh, oh, oh. I think oh. I fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> bravo, bravo! You always manage to make me laugh, my seven dwarves. You are our dear princess, Snow White. While Snow White was enjoying her time with her dwarf friends, <laughs> Silly Dwarf left them unobtrusively. and started walking down the long corridor of the castle. <laughs> I may not be a princess, but I really want to use the invisibility power. While this silly dwarf was walking slowly to the royal crown, Hela, who was living in her cave deep in the forest, was watching the castle life with her sneaky gaze through the magical glass globe. Why are they having so much fun? Hm. Dunkov! Yes, my queen? Amuse me. Ah, ah, amuse you. I have a great joke for you, my queen. Now, there are three men. Oh, one a peasant, one from the castle, and the other from the city. And one of them had a big foot, and one had a medium foot and the other had a very small foot mm. and they went to the cobbler shop stop it <laughs> Ooh. Ugh. i didn't command you to make me fall asleep amuse me but you didn't hear the end of it it's very funny my queen get out of my sight dunkov okay ella got the glass globe again and her eyes glowed when she saw the silly dwarf took the royal crown. The royal crown? What is this dwarf doing here? The silly dwarf secretly took the royal crown and put it on himself. And suddenly, he was invisible. But he could not understand this himself. So where's the invisibility power? Nothing seems to have changed. Watching what happened, Hella was so surprised that she started talking to herself. 
But I thought only the princess could benefit from this power. But I see that dwarves can also use the invisibility power. After a while, Silly Dwarf thought the crown was useless and tried to take it off. However, the royal crown got stuck on the dwarf's head. Oh, no. Oh, oh, ow. Oh, I can't get off. What do I do? Oh, no. When she realized that Silly Dwarf was invisible, Hella had an idea. If it's not possible to make a heart much better than Snow White's and destroy her beauty, I'll turn myself into a dwarf and take the crown. Then I'll be invisible. Uh, you, my queen? A uh, dwarf? You'll be short? <laughs> Again, a great idea, isn't it, Dunkov? <laughs> Silly Dwarf went to ask the other dwarves to help take off the royal crown. <laughs> hey! Hey, the crown got stuck on my head! Shy! Lazy! Ace! Hey! Hey! <gasps> They don't see me. Oh no, the crown works. What am I going to do now? I will remain invisible forever. <laughs> I can't see Silly Dwarf. Where could he have gone? Hmm, he was just here, my princess. Oh, guys, is that is that a flying cup or am I seeing things? Someone took my hat off. Oh, someone took my hat off too. Silly Dwarf was trying to show his friends that he most certainly was there with them in the castle hall. But the dwarves and the princess only became more scared because they didn't understand. Dangerous things are happening, my dwarves. We need to find Silly Dwarf. Something bad might have happened to him. The dwarves and Snow White left the castle hall. And Silly Dwarf chased after them. Wait! Don't go! I'm here! <laughs> The princess and the other dwarves went out into the castle garden and started looking for Silly. Silly! Silly is definitely not in the castle, princess. I've looked everywhere. Apparently, Silly Dwarf also had followed them. And he just went out into the castle garden. It was then that the shy dwarf saw a basket full of apples floating towards them. Uh, look over there! A flying apple basket! Uh, I, 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 I can't believe my eyes! No! Oh, now I'm really scared! I don't know what is going on here, but if there's an evil spell around, we need to get rid of this now, my dwarves! The silly dwarf who saw Snow White and the dwarves so scared, had an idea right at that very moment. He took a stick from the ground. Oh, the stick! The stick is going to attack us! Run away! And he started telling what happened to him by drawing on the ground. Wait, dwarves, don't go! This stick is trying to tell us something. By drawing on the ground, Silly Dwarf explained that the crown was stuck on his head and could not take it off. While the dwarves looked on with great confusion at the lines on the floor, Snow White finally understood what was going on. It is Silly Dwarf! The royal crown got stuck on Silly's head! That's why he is invisible! Oh. Don't move from where you are, Silly. I know you can hear us. We'll save you. Heave! Ho! Oh. One, two, three! Silly Dwarf finally got rid of the crown on his head. 
thanks to his friends, and reappeared. Oh, ho, ho. I was with you from the very beginning, but you couldn't see or hear me at all. Maybe that had something to do with you being invisible. <laughs> yeah. By the way, wasn't the invisibility power just for princesses, Snow White? Snow White learned that, thanks to Silly Dwarf, both dwarves and princesses could use the invisibility power. But they had no news of Hela, who had learned this information long before them. <laughs> if I can't make a good heart, then I'll turn myself into a dwarf and take the crown. No one can stop me, Dunkov. <laughs> While there are so many things that are unknown in this land, the bad-hearted people use everything they learn for a bad purpose. Like Snow White, good-hearted people always use everything they learn to do good things, because information would be useful only then. Jeez.